Thanks for watching Wood and Shop. I'm Joshua Farnsworth. I want to show you how to make a simple shiplap joint. So what is a shiplap joint? A shiplap, shiplap joint is essentially two rabbit joints in opposition to each other to create some strength there. And it works really well on the bottoms of like uh, tool, tool chests, drawers, or uh, anything where you don't want to have the warping action of a large panel and you want to keep it from falling apart. You can see here this one has a nice bead put on it and I'll show how to do that uh, in the next video. But uh, they hold together really nicely and tightly when it's there inside of your box. So you can't even tell that there's a shiplap joint in there from the back. So what I did was I simply cut one rabbit here with a nice, I put a fence here and I use the shoulder plane and you could just as easily use a moving philister plane like this or a rabbit plane like this. I just happen to have this shoulder plane tuned up and so that's what I used and it's uh, nice and sharp here. And so I will take these hold fasts off and you can see the rabbit that I've cut so what I need to do is find my other piece. You can see it's in here and I made note of how I wanted, of which side I wanted the rabbit to go on on each side. So they'll go in opposition like that. So I will cut, take this out and place it there. And what I did was I, I set my marking gauge to make these the same width. So you can see, I just scribed this down. I don't know what that is, a quarter inch or something, whatever, however much you want them to overlap for strength there. And just move this out of the way and I'll just run this right along. And what that does, that marking gauge line, it gives me a guide of where to put the fence. And so I can also mark it right there so that I can look on the ends when I'm working. If you can see that. And then I simply put it back here in on the edge of the bench and put the fence up against the marking gauge line that I had cut with my gauge and line it right up. Smack those hold fast down strong. You can see how, how well they hold the work down. That's what, that's what I like to hold it down with when I'm doing rabbits like this. And then just start taking passes, uh, keeping in mind to, to not go like that or like that, but to keep it straight up and down. And if you want, you can also take a marking gauge and give yourself a depth line on the first one so that you can make sure that you don't go past that. But with this, I'm just going to, when I feel like I'm getting close, I went about halfway on this one. But when I feel like I'm getting close, I'll just take this here and measure it. And when they are level together, then that means that I'm all the way down to where I need to be. So this is a very easy joint for beginners to use and it's great if you want to start off making boxes or tool chests or anything that has a or drawer bottom like that. Uh, so let's see how close I'm getting. Go a little further. So now I'll test this here. If you can see it all right, I'll set it here. And it looks like I'm close. It's also a good idea to check to make sure that you're not playing that way or that way. And you can tell just by eyeballing it. And I think I need probably one or two more passes and I'll be good. And it's vital that you keep this fence 
tightened down really well because if this starts to slide then you'll have a rabbit joint that will be skewed and you don't want one of those and that's pretty close at least for television so let's see if you can see that <laughs> wrong piece that scared me for a minute <laughs> so you can see how nicely that fits together there in the next video I'll show you how to put a bead on this joint so that it doesn't look like just a boring ugly line between two boards if you found this video to be helpful just be sure to click the blue button up there to subscribe and thanks for watching if you're interested in learning traditional woodworking with hand tools visit my website at woodandshop.com where you can find free video tutorials buying guides and reviews make sure you subscribe to my regular blog posts and also check out my 10 steps for getting started enjoy